Hello, Hello and welcome, welcome to this, to this update, update for Horde, Horde Game. game. Um, um, I'm working on some titles right now, but we're getting there. Excuse me. Um, so a couple things. This isn't going to be an update for the actual mechanics I've been designing for Horde Game. This is going to be an update on the state of the game. That being, if you're in the game scene, game development scene rather, you know... Oh, also I apologize, this microphone is actively broken because my mix amp... Mix amp got fried in the power outage the other day, so it's gone, so I have to use this, which is why it sounds like ass. Um, but if you're in the game development scene at all, you know exactly what I'm going to be talking about here, which is Unity. And I was developing Horde Game on Unity. I say was, because I don't plan to continue developing any Unity. Um, I go, girl. My, my puppy's at the door. Um, so, here's the thing. The information's out there for the world right now, and the way I, th I believe it works, because they've gone back and forth and changed things and moved things and all this kind of stuff. Um, the announcement Unity made yesterday was that um, if you reach 200,000 uh, installs and $200,000 made revenue USD, USD uh, you will have to, after that point, pay, I think it's 15 to 20 cents per install. Um... It, it, it's changed, there's different places saying different things and different pages saying different numbers and stuff like that, so I'm trying to give you the information that I have in my head. Um, it only They only charge you after you hit that threshold, and then you have to hit that threshold, like, I think every single uh, month, or at least within a 12-month period. I, can't, I don't know how it works properly yet, I don't I don't get it. Um, but even then, once you hit the $200,000 threshold, you ha or $200, th threshold, you have to purchase, I think, the Pro Edition, which raises you to $1 million revenue and $1 million uh, download, or installs, rather. Um, and then after that, they'll charge you for every install. Uh, they've gone and changed a bunch of things today, saying, you know, installs are going to be the first unique install on a machine, not, you know, pirated copies or reinstallations or charity or Game Pass. They haven't told us how they intend to track installs, so I immediately went, this is just wrong, because I don't want to put tracking information into my game to then put on someone's computer that Unity then has access to change. Um, the other big part that's going on, I know that won't affect me at all. Uh, the money thing won't affect me at all. The game I make probably won't make more than like a hundred thousand at maximum. Like that's what I'm. That's ballpark dream for me is I'll make a hundred thousand dollars one day, um, in a year rather. And it's two hundred thousand a year to actually hit the hit the the threshold. But um, the thing for me is the the tracking information, they aren't giving us any information on how they intend to track installs. Um, as well, they've gone and done a lot of scummy things in the past day. First being the removal of their terms of service from GitHub. Um, they've actively removed or edited in some way or retracted information from their terms of service without telling anyone. They just did it. Um, they've gone through... I've been on the forums basically since it started... Uh, it's over 100 and so on pages now. I was there at page like 20 or 19 or something like that. I've, I've been there since the beginning, basically. And they've deleted comments made by Unity people on the forums. Um, some of them resurfaced across the internet already because they're being called out for being really shitty. Um, and other ones are they're deleting people's comments, pointing out the fact that they're violating their terms of service, um, there aren't laws that support this kind of action. They're, they're, they're doing a lot of really scummy things right now. And first and foremost, I don't like the attitude they've put forward, which is basically, for the past two days, it's been shut the fuck up and deal with it, effectively. Um, or basically just trust us, bro. We, we won't screw you over. Because the way they've announced that they're going to be tracking install so far has been through a proprietary data module, which basically means they're not going to actually tell us how they track the installs. It's going to be some kind of new API or something that goes into the game or some crap, or the, the editor. Um, but they haven't told us how they actually intend to track. There's no definitions or differentiation between installations. They haven't given us any information. There was This announcement was so poorly thought out that it's not about the money. Like No developer actively cares too much about the money aspect of it, because for the most part, unless it's a gigantic company who makes a, like, a ton of bank on their game, it's not going to matter to anyone. But these changes in terms of service, the 
ap- the attitude Unity's had towards developers recently, especially um, what the CEO said, like, what was it, five, six months ago, which is basically, you know, or maybe it was like a year or two ago, um, Indie devs are fucking idiots because they don't mon- they don't put microtransactions and all this kind of stuff. And he's the former CEO of Electronic Arts, so I kind of see his perspective of being scummy. Uh, it's just, it, there's been a lot of poor management around this subject, and it's it's rubbed me the wrong way. I spent the last week working on, actually the last week and a half working on Horde Game, and I have like six months in a Toyo. So I am I am actively I'm not even this close. I am actively learning how to use Unreal Engine. I have been for the past day and a half now. Because once I saw this announcement I was like, oh this is this is weird. I don't like this. Let's see how this affects me and then as I got farther into I'm like, oh this doesn't affect me at all, but this is just really scummy. So I've I've basically just decided to no longer use Unity unless some serious changes are made at the managerial level. Um, it's just there's there's no way around it that I cannot trust Unity to to fuck me over in the future. No developer can really trust Unity to not fuck them over in the future because they can, as of certain posts on their forums which have been deleted that other people have thankfully taken pictures of and saved. Um, as long as they give you three months notice, they can change anything about the terms of service. Absolutely anything they can change as long as they give you three months notice. So we got a three month notice yesterday that this is going to be happening and everyone went bye. So we're all ditching. Well, not all, but a good chunk of people are looking into switching to Unreal, to Godot, to Unit Engine, to a couple other ones that exist. I'm actively going to look into Unreal. Uh, I'm actively learning Unreal because frankly, and this is this is the messed up part, and this is what people are getting like annoyed at people like me for. Unreal charges a five percent flat rate. That once you hit, I think it was a million dollars or whatever, they charge you five percent of your revenue. I'm fine with that because that's five percent. I I know until they just had to change it. At some point, they're going to change it. I know they are. I know I can calculate that five percent into whatever I make, and if I make that much money, I'm not going to care too much about five percent. But like, I don't honestly care about them taking the 5% because I'm using their technology to make a game to then sell. I'm going to be making money using their thing, so if they want 5% of that money, they can have it. And Unity's part of it was, I use their software, and then once I hit a certain threshold, I have to buy Plus. I have to buy uh, Personal, Pro, whatever the upgrades are. Once you hit a certain threshold, you have to purchase that upgrade. I'm like, that's fine. I like that. My game will probably never actively... I just hit a step goal, and I'm not even moving. I will probably never actively hit those thresholds, so... It doesn't affect me that much. This change in Unity's behavior the past year and a half, two years, has really soured it in the community. And honestly, I just can't I just can't continue to use the software knowing that they could just change whatever they want, whenever they want it. So yeah. Um I will probably be posting updates for Horde Game using Unreal once I understand how Unreal works. Um and maybe I'll start doing tutorials in Unreal once I actually know what I'm doing, and I'll probably I'll start describing and telling and teaching how I'm doing the things. I know blueprints apparently are ridiculously easy to use. You're effectively saying, oh, I want a third-person uh, character. So you grab the third-person blueprint and slap it into your game. You're like, cool, I have everything I need to run a third-person perspective from this script or this blueprint. And then you just change the little things in the blueprint, and you're good. So like, that aud- it kind of seems like cheating to me. But at the same time, I don't want to learn C++. I already learned C Sharp to use Unity, and I I absolutely love coding for Unity. I know you can do visual scripting as well. It's kind of getting there for Unity, but not really. It's the same thing as Blueprints, basically. But I love the coding aspect, because I'm like, I want this thing to do this thing, and then I write the code to make it do that thing. I love that aspect of it. Maybe Blueprints will be kind of the same thing. Maybe I'll have to learn C++ in order to use that kind of aspect of Unreal, but I have to learn how to use it before I can make that decision. So... I'm not going to delete uh, Horde Game as it is right now in Unity. I'm going to keep it in case... Focus. Come here. Come back to me. Thank you. Uh, I'm not going to delete Unity or Horde Game in Unity in case, for whatever reason, Unity decides to dramatically change how their company works and who's in charge of it and all this kind of stuff. So I'm going to keep everything kind of where it is. But until those changes occur, I will be learning uh, Unreal. I will learn Unreal, and I will be making the game in Unreal, because I think now that I have the aspects in my head of what I want the game to be like, it'll be a lot easier to get up to where I was before. 
I just have to learn how to use the engine. So that's that's the update for right now, is that Unity is screwing over its developers, and not even like the little guys, it's screwing over its biggest developers, being like, you make a ton of money, you're going to give us some of that money every time someone installs your game. And I'm like, you're actively going to push away your biggest... De- I'm sorry, I'm going to rant. Um, it's just, I can't talk about it because I will just get into a fume of like, this is the dumbest thing you could possibly do. I don't mind if Unity were to put in like a, a same thing, like 2%, 3%, 4% revenue share. I would not care. That makes sense to me. It Paying per install does not make sense to me. Anyway, I got to go. I'm going to start learning uh, Unreal, and I will post an update maybe tomorrow, maybe the day after on how things are going. So, peace.